sister. Yeah, yeah. That you didn't know about. I did, I did. Uh, one day, Dad pulled my brothers and I into the lounge room and, like I said, my nan and that were living in the backyard and they always knew, but Dad pulled out a photo and, and sat us down and he said, see this girl? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. He's like, this is your sister. And I was just like... What? That's how he said it. And I'm like, well, that's a really great opener, isn't it? And I'm like, what do you mean that I have a sister? And uh, he went through and explained to us that when he was 17, um, he had a, had a good little girl and he ado they adopted her out at the time because obviously they felt that they couldn't look after yeah, her. Yeah, at 17, he was a baby himself. He did, yeah. And he, I was only talking to my nana actually on Monday night. I went over for dinner, his, um, his mum, and she was telling us a story. I've never really actually sat down and talked to her about it. Mm. And she actually told me that, you know, they both tried to keep her, but it was up to the mum and the mum's parents then. And Dad actually waited outside the waiting room when she was born and heard her cry, but wasn't allowed to actually go see her. And mm -hmm. he just knew that he wanted to see her, but, you know, they, they gave her away. And they were both young and, and I think, you know, no one, no one really blames them. But my dad always had it inside him, I think, to find her. And he went to find her a few times and I think was a little bit scared of getting shut down by mm. her or the family. And uh, eventually she saw that he'd been looking for her and got in contact with him. And, and that's when Dad decided to probably tell us later on just in case he... And I was probably, I'd, I'd be the person that would probably want to spend my life looking for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up with brothers and, and I'd love to find my sister. So it was a shock, but it was so, as a good shock, it was a great shock. <clears throat> were you upset that he hadn't told you earlier or were you just like awesome? No, I, I don't think I ever thought about that. I remember really c crying my eyes out, I think, but I was happy. And I went up and, and told my nan and, of course, she already knew and she yeah. was there with open arms. But I was actually quite shocked as well that... Um, you know, my mum knew the whole time as well. So it was good yeah. for that she knew and that Nelsie's sees photos and he's showing us. But I wasn't angry. I, I was. I think he was trying to save us if, you know, he, she, he didn't find her and things like that. So what was it like when you met her for the first time? I'm also nervous. I remember being so nervous thinking, oh, my God, my sister. And she's a bit older than me and, you know, she's an archaeologist. So no pressure. Yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely got the brain. Lots in common. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but it was amazing and... You know, being being the girl, I think, and my two older brothers, myself and her are probably closer than they are, and, and and we just, you know, hit it off then, and I got to go and stay with her. She's from Melbourne. And uh, stay with her and start to learn about her life and meet her two brothers. I mean, her brother and her sister. Wow. And her mum and dad, who she obviously calls mum and dad. So there's another sort of family out there as well. And so is she close to her adopted? So that's the family that she was adopted into? Yeah, it's since, I think she was 10 days old when she got adopted. So that's her parents, I don't think... Uh, had a lot of tr trouble having kids, so they adopted Gillian, but then they ended up having their own two kids. Wow. Uh, so they're all, that's her brother, that's his sister, that's her mum and dad, and she calls my dad dad as well, you know, and um, to, to Luca, her two-year-old, my nephew, it's granddad, and her dad actually passed away a couple of years ago now, uh, so my dad's sort of been there as well for Luca and everything, so, you know, their family's great, and, and she's had an amazing childhood, I think, and I think it's yeah. just really great that we've come together. How incredible. Your dad must be... A beautiful man, though, to go. I've got to find this yeah. girl, and I think he always wanted to. To be honest, I think that he knew that it was a part of him, and he always wanted to find her. And you know, would, I'd want to know what someone looks totally. like and someone is, and if they're okay. Yeah. And so I knew deep down he wanted to do that all along, and I think he was just, uh, you know, ex so excited when she looked for him and realised yeah. that he, she did wasn't angry at him. She wasn't. No, I mean I. I, I, she's part of our life and we're both a part of, and I think she understands. And mm. uh, I think he was really happy that she wanted to contact him as well. Yeah. 